The WikiLeaks DNC leaks show that the party used an anti-Trump PowerPoint suggesting use of themes such as race, women, and inciting violence to put Donald Trump in a bad light. So you're actually looking at the slide that WikiLeaks leaked. So it is also showing a strategy in general in favor of Hillary Clinton that sought to diminish Senator Sanders. This is just one example. I'm going to quote it. Does he believe in a God? He has stated on saying or skated on saying that he has a Jewish heritage. I think I read he is an atheist. With me now, Trump campaign national spokesperson Katrina Pearson. Katrina, glad to have you here. The inference, of course, to that comment is that Senator Sanders would not be well understood in the South. People tend to be more faith oriented. Is it fair to go after a candidate's religion or lack thereof? Or would you say this is just Your part of the politics is game? Absolutely absurd. If this had come from the RNC, you would see headline after headline and protest. This is absolutely insane. Saying things like my Southern Baptist peeps draw a distinguished between a Jew and an atheist, that is absolutely absurd. No, that is not fair game. And now we know why we've seen all of these articles, like in the New York Times, trying to paint Mr. Trump as a racist. It's because they're following orders from the DNC. Uh, well, although I do want to say, I mean, this is 20 years ago, but the very famous columnist, William Sapphire, actually called Clinton a congenital liar. And it does seem as if these email leaks, again, point to a huge question of trustworthiness as far as she goes, which is clearly her biggest hurdle in November. But I know Donald Trump has often stuck up in his own way for Senator Sanders. I mean, he's been tweeting a lot, as you well know, in the past 12 hours. I'm going to go over just two of them that we, we picked out. Here we go again with another Clinton scandal and emails yet, can you believe? Crooked Hillary knew the fix was in. B, meaning Bernie Sanders, never had a chance. He also tweeted out, Crooked Hillary Clinton knew everything that her servant was doing at the DNC. They just mm -hmm. got caught, that's all. They laughed at Bernie. Does Donald Trump feel akin to him as an outsider? Uh, or does it just help him oh, yeah. where he can criticize Hillary Clinton or both? No, absolutely. Um, and, and as Jeff, you reported in the past, Donald Trump has come to Bernie Sanders' defense several times as the primary process went along because it is a rigged system. And he's pointed out specifically on the Democrat side with the superdelegates, uh, this is a problem. When we look at the system when it wasn't rigged in 2008, Hillary Clinton lost. Now we have a situation where there's proof, actual vindication from what Mr. Trump has been saying on two fronts. Number one, that the system is rigged, and number two, that the media is extremely dishonest. Now we know for sure who exactly was calling the shots and what they were doing, and that was rigging the system against Bernie Sanders and trying to paint Trump as a racist and a sexist. So speaking of that, and Katrina, you just mentioned it a few minutes ago, but the New York Times op-ed um, by Nicholas Kristof entitled, Is Donald Trump a Racist? Uh, is your campaign going to respond to that op-ed? You know, it's interesting, Deirdre, because if this individual had bothered to even contact the campaign and request the comment, we could have responded right then and there. But this just goes to show you how dishonest the media is. He obviously took a page right off of the PowerPoint from the DNC and tried to continue this narrative that somehow Donald Trump is a racist. Whether or not they're facts, it doesn't matter. This is an opinion column, which is probably why he didn't reach out for comment, because he would have been told that those accusations were utterly false. But we have a situation now where it's been exposed to the world. Everyone now knows the system was rigged for Hillary Clinton as she's talking about a separate set of standards for herself, playing the victim now. It's not going to work, and that's why Donald Trump has a 10-point bump in the polls and why he continues to widen the gap with independents. Yeah, the trustworthy issue is going to haunt her for sure as a candidate. Katrina Pearson, thank you so much.